So I know this isn't the first question on the list, but I want to talk about it. Probably the biggest motto that I live by, which I didn't make up, I read on the internet, but it's still pretty true, is that the only difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. I keep that in mind in everything I do, and it's kind of how I'm trying to treat this COVID diagnosis right now. I had plans to film outside and go on a hike and do all this cool stuff for my video, but unfortunately I can't really do that now because the quarantine takes up almost all my time to make this video. So I was kind of forced to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And one of the ways I did that is just try and make the most of what I could in my room. I tore down the LEDs in the living room and borrowed my roommate's lamp so I could create the best lighting I could. When it came to telling the story of how I got in this situation, I filmed as much as I could on my own and then waited until I wasn't contagious to film the parts with the nose swabber and the light switcher on or offer. To be honest, I thought I could kind of recreate the effect of a softbox with these LEDs, but it's stuck on this bluish tint, so I can't really get what I wanted. But hey, I'm still making the best of it. I want to join Outdoor Rec because I want to give back to a program that's really allowed me to come out of my shell. Last year before I discovered Outdoor Rec, I didn't really do a whole lot. I was kind of struggling to make friends and find a community that I really felt like I fit in. Every time I went on a trip though, I felt like I belonged. It's really the only environment that I truly feel like I can be myself and I want to be a part of it full time. I'm applying to be a media guide in particular because digital media and marketing is a huge part of my career focus. I chose a degree in advertising and marketing because I want to learn business skills, but at the same time, I really want to be creative. I'm taking all my electives in digital media and dedicate most of my time to practicing and teaching myself these skills. And if you've ever been on a trip with me, you probably know that I always have my camera out. I'm constantly looking for new opportunities to gain experience, and I can't think of a better way to do it than this position. To be honest, I never really liked personality tests, but I'll take one, just for you. Okay, so it says I'm a seven and a bit of two. For sevens, the world is primarily a place to be enjoyed. They build their lives around the exciting, the stimulating, and the entertaining. I mean, I definitely consider myself a person who's motivated by excitement. I mean, I'm the only one of my friends who moved in across the entire country for college, and it's a decision I don't regret one bit. And that's why I think I'd be perfect for this position. I'm not the kind of person who can just sit still all day, and doing something new and exciting all the time would be such a great fit. With friends, I like to play volleyball, basketball, spike ball, go to the beach and I'm back home, but my absolute favorite is to hike. Pretty much every weekend I'm not on an outdoor rec trip, you can find me on a trail with Coleman, who I met on my first outing. So far this semester, we've hiked Camelback twice, Peralta Trail twice, Flatiron, Piestua, and Lockett Meadow in Flagstaff. I honestly can't get enough of the Arizona landscape, so any opportunity I have to explore it, I take. Ultimately, my goal as a member of the team would be to give people the same experience that I was given. Originally, I just signed up for trips because I didn't have a car and I wanted to get outside. And the night before my first trip, there were a lot of personal things going on that put me in a pretty awful mood. I couldn't sleep at all that night and I came pretty close to canceling because I just didn't want to be around people. But I knew I couldn't pass up the Explore Arizona road trip, so I decided to go. And immediately when I got in the van, I knew I made the right decision. Everyone was incredibly welcoming and I completely forgot about what was bothering me. From that point on, Outdoor Rec has been a place for me to just escape from it all and actually be comfortable being myself. So if I was selected on the team, I'd dedicate myself to recreating that same environment that I was given and enabling people to open up and build new relationships.